Welcome. Thank you for your interest in Cigars 101, a fundamental education. This curriculum is produced by Tobacconist University, the first and only organization to educate and certify professional tobacconists and consumers since 1996. We created this course to ensure that consumers get the most substantive and thorough education possible with the goal of enhancing your experience and appreciation. There are countless sources for information about cigars in books, magazines, and on the internet, but the amount of bias, myth, and misinformation is staggering. While there are many decent vloggers, bloggers, reviewers, and well-intentioned people sharing information about cigars, there is a dearth of substantive, well-researched, and professional-grade education. We built this curriculum to set the record straight and properly educate cigar aficionados and connoisseurs. Your journey and passion for cigars requires a strong foundation of facts and knowledge to develop and fulfill its potential. This Cigars 101 curriculum will give you exactly that, a strong foundation. We encourage you to forget everything you think you know and embrace this journey with an open mind. Trust in our curriculum and process because it has been vetted by thousands of professional and certified tobacconists since 1996. Fundamentals first. There are a few important topics to cover before we dig into our cigar curriculum. Big picture issues that affect everything else. Legal and taxation issues, sanitary standards, and care and maintenance. Legal and taxation issues. Cigars are heavily taxed and age-restricted products. In the U.S., the legal national smoking age is 21. This means you can vote and serve your country in the military, yet not be allowed to enjoy a cigar legally. Indoor and outdoor smoking laws vary at the local and state levels. There are states where it is illegal to smoke indoors, even in a retail tobacconist store. And there are states where you can still smoke in a bar or restaurant. There are other states where it is illegal to smoke within 20 feet of a doorway and in public parks and sidewalks. Laws vary by municipality, but draconian anti-smoking laws are everywhere. Before a consumer even sees a cigar, there are import duties, federal taxes, and FDA user fees applied to the cost of cigars. In addition, every state in the U.S. taxes tobacco products at some level. In the U.S., almost every state requires a tax be paid on the wholesale cost of the cigar. Typically, this tax is paid by the retailer, and it can almost double the manufacturer's suggested retail price in some states. The inequality of state taxes creates a serious challenge for retailers, competing with mail order companies and nearby states. For example, Pennsylvania has no premium cigar tax, while neighboring New Jersey has a 30% wholesale tax. This creates a very different price structure for consumers. Furthermore, mail order companies operate out of no tax states, thereby circumventing wholesale and sales taxes. Having illustrated the taxation disparities between states, it is important to recognize the importance of retail tobacconists. Cigars are luxury sensory products which must be seen, touched, and smelled to be appreciated, and you can't smoke a cigar on the internet. The retail environment is crucial to the thriving and surviving of cigar culture. The most important innovation, communication, and education about cigars occurs in a face-to-face -face environment between retail tobacconists and consumers. Above all, we encourage you to contribute to this culture and shop local to help your retail tobacconists succeed. Sanitary standards. Cigars must be cared for with strict sanitary standards. Because consumers place cigars in their mouths, they must be treated like any other food product. Cigars in their boxes should not be placed on the floor or touched with dirty hands. In addition, cigars should not touch your nose or mouth before purchase. When shopping for cigars, look for retailers who maintain high cleanliness, merchandising, and sanitary standards. Care and maintenance. As a general rule, cigars must be kept at 70% relative humidity and 70 degrees Fahrenheit. The humidity will preserve the essential oils which contain the flavor of the tobaccos in the cigar. These oils will evaporate if cigars are not kept at proper humidity. Furthermore, a cigar that is too humid or moist 
will not combust or taste as it should. It will taste acrid as the moisture will drown out the flavors. Cool temperatures are also critical to the maintenance and preservation of cigars. This will keep microscopic larvae, also found in rice and cereal products, from hatching and destroying cigars. As you can see, proper temperature and humidity must be maintained at all times. If you find yourself in a store that is hot and or the cigars feel dry, find another retail tobacconist. And if you order online, buyer beware. Lastly, don't inhale. As part of our Fundamentals First curriculum, we recommend you don't inhale. Cigars are meant to be savored for their taste and aroma, not inhaled into the lungs. In fact, cigar smoke is too alkaline to be inhaled, while cigarettes are acidic and meant to be inhaled. As you will learn, cigars come from completely different seed varietals and undergo extraordinary and unique curing and fermentation processes to express their taste and aromas. In fact, cigars have very little in common with other tobacco products. They are uniquely special artisanal products that combine art and science and years of love and labor to create. And now you're ready to learn more.